What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. Just about ready to head out and get a training session in. We should have a really good group of guys today. Me, Chase, Christo, uh, two Portland Timbers, two players, and I think two Portland Timbers Academy players. So it should be a great session. Um, I'm also going to wear the new boots from Halt's Boots, the AG Soul Plate Vapor 11s, which I'm stoked about. So I'm gonna break those in today. Um, so it should be a great day. Welcome to the video. AGs. Oh, wow. Yeah. Did you see the new Vapors or Superflies and Vapors that just came out? New colorway? Oh. They're all pink. Oh, really? So sick. Yeah. Damn, they already came out with a new color. I know. I, as soon as I bought that, I was just like, damn it. <laughs> like, that's, what, that's what they do. They wait till all the orders come in. They're like, yeah. okay, now release the new colorway. Exactly. Damn, these are actually pretty fresh, man. I never had a pair of these. Really? I think they're nice, though. Yeah. I think they are the, because uh, I have such a narrow foot, so yeah, I think too. they're the tightest, like, boots. fitting boots, yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're just about ready to get a session in. We got Chase, Christo, Rowan, Isaac still coming, and then we got Gio and Carlos. Uh, I've introduced them slightly on the video before, but we haven't sat down <laughs> and or stood up and talked. Um, Gio, do you want to say like where you are from, where you've been playing, position, stuff like that? Yeah, um, so my name is Gio. I'm from uh, Fernandez, Oregon. Uh, I played for T2 for three years. And you know, right now I'm, I'm trying to see where my opportunity is at. But I play uh, forward. Yeah, and it did well at T2. Would you get like nine, ten goals? Yeah, ten goals. Know, yeah. So you got some stuff lined up, and always in off season, it's hard to say like what you have. So I won't pressure you. Uh, and then Carlos, same thing, same question. Yeah, um, my name is Carlos. Um, I played for T2 for about the same amount. Uh, I recently signed with Tacoma, so I've been hitting up there, um, and I play center mid. Center mid. Uh, congrats, you excited to go? Up? Yeah, for sure. When do you leave? I don't know yet. <laughs> yeah. Haven't said anything? No. Damn. All right. Yeah, well. Be determined. Yeah, that's we'll good though. We'll yeah. That's that's exciting. So both young guys, what, twenty and twenty-one? Is yeah. that it? Yeah. yeah. So young guys, good players, and uh, yeah, we'll get a session in right now. Though. Cool. Perfect. Easy, yeah. right? <laughs> Before we hop in this training session, I want to take a quick moment to introduce the sponsor of today's video, CrowdCow. CrowdCow is a marketplace for high quality meats that creates a meaningful connection between the farmer and the customer. It allows us to get higher quality meats and seafoods and lets us know exactly where our food is coming from. All you have to do is hop on CrowdCow's website and build your box by shopping their high quality beef, pork, chicken, and seafood. Once you make your selection, each cut is vacuum sealed, frozen at the peak of freshness, and sustainably shipped right to your door. CrowdCow supports farmers that are doing it the right way and delivers meat and seafood that tastes better and is higher quality than what you can find at your local grocery store. All of their meat has no growth hormones and no unnecessary antibiotics. And you can buy meat that is grass-fed, pasture-raised, or wild-caught. As a professional athlete, it's so important to fuel my body with the highest quality food sources I possibly can, and CrowdCow helps me do that. CrowdCow also has a much wider variety of better tasting products that you typically can't find at your local grocery store. And all of their products are shipped in recyclable and compostable materials. Every single order from CrowdCow is 100% carbon neutral. If you guys are interested in checking out CrowdCow, then click the link in my description for $15 off your first order. And as an added bonus, CrowdCow will give you free membership by clicking my link, which entitles you to 5% off every single one of your orders. Big thank you to CrowdCow for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the training session. Oh, in the new boots today. Oh, yeah.
I had uh, one of my like, guys, one of the guys I coach with, bet a hundred dollars on Gronk scoring the first touchdown. Really? Wow. <laughs> it be like two, 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 like two grand or something like that. Shoot. So that's a pretty good little bet, honestly. Yeah. Actually, a pretty cool thing to bet on too. Yeah. Like I would have bet on that. Yeah, yeah. Amagio, what are you doing? Yes. Turn, turn. Come on. One on one. Put it 
Okay, here's lunch. We got five eggs, no spinach or really anything in here, just kind of like five eggs and two veggie sausage patties. Just gonna eat this and then get a quick workout in. Okay, so I'm going to do a little lower body workout and I'm also going to add in a little bit of prehab exercises into that workout as well. So it's gonna be like a combination. I'm gonna shoot for about an hour, but uh, we'll see. All right, so I started this weightlifting session like I start every single one with five minutes on the bike at a pretty decent intensity. So I'm starting to sweat by the end of the five minutes. And then I just hopped into the first exercise, which was a superset between these lunge holds for 30 seconds and these RDLs with 45 pounds in each hand. And I did a superset with all of these exercises that you're gonna see, so I go back and forth. So after I finish the RDLs, I hop right back into the lunge holds for 30 seconds. And the whole point of this workout, like I said, is gonna be a, a general strength workout Workout, but it's also gonna be a lot of prehab. So obviously you got the RDLs working on the hamstring, the lunges are just that isometric holding type exercise. And then I went on to the next superset after four sets of that, which was these hip thrusts with 55 pounds. So kind of decently heavy hip thrusts and then eccentric single leg box squats where I'm squatting down with one leg to really work on like patellar tendonitis on my knee, try to help that. And then I would stand up with both feet. So I would do I would do 10 hip thrusts with this weight really exploding up and pausing for a second at the top. And then I did 10 reps with each leg for these single leg box squats. This is like one of the best exercises that I found to really help with my patellar tendonitis in my, uh, in my knee. I just think it's so good for that as well as just stability in general and quad strength. And then the next superset I did was just four way band like kickouts where you go in the front of you for the hip flexor out to the side to work on that side glute. Uh, you come in to work on the groin and then you go back to work on the main part of the glute and the hamstring. So I did 10 to 12 reps with each leg and uh, for all four different variations. You call this like the four way band kickouts because this is just crucial as a soccer player as you're moving your leg in different directions. The next thing I did was a single leg calf raise on the step, which is my body weight. As you can see, I'm going slow and really squeezing at the top. So I did 10 on each uh, leg, alternating back supersetting with those four way band kickouts. The next superset I did was this straight leg sit up where I hold on to 15 pounds against my chest. I did 15 of those. And then I supersetted that with the pal off press where you basically get a resistance band and you're pushing off to the side. It's a very tough one for the core. So for today's continuous Q and A, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Today, instead of responding to a question, I'm actually gonna to respond to a comment that sparked a little bit of a, a teachable moment when I saw it. And the comment is this, same content for the past two months with a little squinty eye emoji. I'm going to block out this guy's name because he doesn't deserve any hate at all. He shouldn't get any bad comments or anything. I just saw this comment. I'm like, ooh, I really want to talk about this idea. This comment is funny too because it kind of hits the nail on the head without really even intending to do so. I've been producing pretty similar content for the past two months or honestly the past five years because that's the whole point of my Become Elite channel. The single idea that I had when starting this channel was to show the no bullshit, real life, behind the scenes look at a professional soccer's daily life. Everything that goes on behind the scenes. Instead of just seeing the games, you're seeing the training, the workouts, the daily grind, the boredom sometimes, the loneliness. You're seeing the real, authentic look at being a pro. And if you guys have been following me for a while, I hope that you're seeing this idea behind my channel firsthand. I hope that's coming across. And honestly, one of my biggest regrets surrounding this channel is that I didn't start it earlier because every single day for the last 15 plus years I've trained about five times a week I've worked out two to four times a week I foam rolled I've stretched and I have fueled my body with mostly healthy foods even though I wish that I started vlogging earlier you can still scroll back five six years on my channel and see that my day-to-day -day life really hasn't changed that much and that's the secret to becoming a pro that's the secret to success 100% that's it right there consistency it's that daily consistent grind not just over a week or a month or even a year, but over a decade, two decades. That's how you become a pro and that's how you stay a pro. If I'm gonna be a little brutal here, but most players don't do that. Most players stay consistent for a week. They have really 
good trainings for a week. They go out every single day, get a good workout program for a week or two when they have tons of motivation and they kill it and then they stop. They lose motivation, they get bored, life gets in the way and they're not consistent. Then a couple weeks later, maybe a month later, they get another wave of motivation. They're like, I'm back on my grind. They go out, they train, have some great sessions, they have some great workouts, eat healthy, but then again, they lose it within a month and they're back to playing video games, being inconsistent with their diet and not training extra. From what I've seen, honestly, most players aren't consistent for even a month, let alone a decade. So I want my content to be a reflection of what I think is the key to becoming a pro and staying a pro and it's that daily consistent grind which at times i completely understand is boring monotonous and it gets old believe me it gets old i get bored of this life at times but i just want to become a better player more than i care about having an exciting life honestly so there's nothing wrong with this comment at all there's nothing wrong with wanting to see more entertaining content on youtube or netflix but just realize you're probably not going to get it on my channel to be honest. The goal of my channel is to show you how that daily consistent grind over the short term leads to improvement in the long term. Okay, 6.47 at night, I'm going to make dinner for myself right now. I'm going to use the food that Crowd Cow sent me. They sent me some salmon, some chicken thighs, some steaks, uh, but tonight I'm going to have this Copper River sockeye salmon. So that's what I'll be having. I'm gonna cook this up in the pan and I'll have that with some green beans and some white rice. So. Let's do it. Okay, here's a dinner courtesy of Crowd Cow. We got the sockeye salmon. We have green beans. We have some white rice right now. So I'm just gonna have this for dinner and then probably uh, Netflix and, and bed. Very good. It tastes very fresh. It tastes, uh, it's a little, it, honestly, it's kind of funny. This isn't even part of the promo, but it's just much more authentic and real and just like fresh than grocery stores and stuff. So eat this. Do a little bit more editing, Netflix, and go to bed. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys. Peace.